I get asked, what's the difference between a chemical sunscreen and a mineral sunscreen? And that's very important, and let's talk about that for a moment, because there are two differences between the two. I tend to favor mineral sunscreens, and those are sunscreens that contain zinc oxide, titanium dioxide, or iron oxides, which are part of the tint in your mineral sunscreen. And the reason for that is those are minerals that reflect the light that hits the skin, and so they offer a wide range of protection against UVA, high energy blue light, high energy visible light, infrared light, and these tend to still remain stable. So they tend to last on the skin for longer. Chemical sunscreens, on the other hand, while they're very popular because they're very easy to apply and blend into the skin, they tend to start to degrade within an hour of application. So you might think you put a SPF on, that's a very high number, and then within being outdoors for a short amount of time, those chemicals quickly degrade and put you at risk for sunburn. Additionally, people with very sensitive skin tend to get very irritated with those chemicals, so they do tend to cause irritant reactions for some patients. And lastly, we want to make sure that we're not getting those chemicals into the water systems and harming any of the marine life. And we do know that coral reefs are very susceptible to damage from those. So I tend to favor, again, mineral sunscreens because they're good for you and they're good for the environment.